Rice is the largest staple crop in the world. And one of the big challenges as we go forward is that temperature is really gonna stress rice out. For the year 2100, the IPCC's mid-range evaluation is that we could be as high as five degrees above what current temperatures are. And what that does to rice is it stresses the rice and you get a yield decrease of around 10 to 12 percent with current varieties right now. What's missing in that is that most of the rice growing regions have a fair amount of arsenic and arsenic concentrations in the soil that are increasing due to irrigation with arsenic contaminated groundwater. When you take the elevated temperature and soil arsenic concentrations in collectively, you get about a 40% reduction in yield. So think about that. If more than 50% of the world's population is dependent on rice and you're cutting back that food supply by 40%, that is a huge hit. There's a variety of different ways that you can try to emulate climate change. What we chose is a greenhouse study where we could really tightly control the temperature and also tightly control the CO2 concentrations. We use soils that were from California, but we've also done experiments where we have soils from Bangladesh or from Cambodia. And we grow then the rice within pots within the greenhouse. It's a multifactorial experiment design. So we have uh, two temperatures, that is ambient temperature and another uh, elevated temperature by five degrees Celsius. Another uh, factor that we are turning is the uh, atmospheric CO2 concentration. So we also have two, one is the control and another one we double it and then we monitor the growth of the plant. Uh, we take soil data, we monitor plant physiology data. Basically means that the height of the plant, how many tillers and panicles they developed, and then we harvest them in the end. And after harvest, we digest them with the leaves and grains and all the plant tissues there, and trying to analyze how much arsenic and consequently uh, other micronutrient that's in there. The experiments themselves take about four or five months to run, but we've been doing these experiments over and over again. So they've actually been running now for three or four years. We repeat these to make sure that we have replicable results and also that we can see it with different soils and, and slightly different varieties of rice. This is a wake up call of what we're gonna see if we don't do something about greenhouse gas production. You can think holistically about coming up with new varieties of rice that are gonna both be able to be uh, temperature tolerant, but also arsenic tolerant. I'm also optimistic that when people start shining a light on the threats that we see at a five degrees Celsius uh, impact, that we won't get there, that people will wake up, that that's just unacceptable. That's my biggest hope and my biggest room for optimism. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.